Hey robot fans, this wacky contraption I'm standing on is the Mongoose Slalom 117 All-Terrain Board, also called a mountain board. Mountain boards are pretty popular nowadays, but this thing is a relic from the past, and I know this because I used to own this exact board when I was 15 years old. I came across one on eBay and the nostalgia factor was way too much for me and I bought it on the spot. The website for this thing looks like it was built on GeoCities and hasn't been updated since Y2K. There's even a link to update to the latest version of Netscape. Netscape. I damn near killed myself a dozen times on this thing when I was a kid and now almost 20 years later I'm going to strap two motors to it to see if I could finish the job. For the drivetrain I'm going with a dual belt drive system. The main wheel pulley will be 3D printed. It'll be a 60 tooth HTD 5mm pulley and will mount to the wheel hub through its existing hardware setup. The motor pulley will have 12 teeth and be made out of aluminum. This will give me a 5 to 1 gear reduction which is necessary given these 215mm diameter tires. Mounting the drivetrain is going to be tricky because these springy trucks move a lot as the board turns, so everything has to mount to the main stationary axle. I want this thing to be tough, so I'm going to use some 2020 aluminum extrusion for the frame of the drive installation and couple that with some super rigid 3D printed parts printed in PETG for optimum resistance to heat buildup. I drilled two holes into the steel plate welded to the axle. This will be my main anchor point for the 2020 extrusion. Rather than using a typical T-nut connection here, I'm going to be drilling straight through and manually tapping the aluminum for some super secure tapped M6 threaded connections. I'm also tapping the ends of each piece and connecting them via these three-way corner terminals. This will give me a 25mm M6 screw connection at the end of each piece. At the top of the main connection, I'm also building a custom corner piece to anchor the vertical supports to the main steel plate. The goal here is to use that flat plate as a brace against any leaning caused by the weight of the motors which will be cantilevered off of these vertical supports. To further brace everything, I'm printing a clamp that will press a squishy flex material piece into the main truck steel. With this main connection anchored, I build out the rest of the frame. At the bottom, I printed a plate which connects and supports the two 2020 pieces while also providing a kick plate to block any dirt or pebbles that might otherwise find their way into the motors. Speaking of the motors, I'm using two Turnigy SK3 149kV motors to drive the board. These will have custom mounts that will allow the motor position to be adjusted to tension the belts. Also, these mounts are connected in four places via tapped M6 connections to the 2020 above and below. A crossbar is also put in place across the length of the mount for additional stability. As far as electronics for the board, I purchased this dual belt drive ESC from dyeboards.com and this will be running two 5 cell LiPo batteries in series giving me 37 volts. These components are pretty large, but I managed to build a pretty clever little mounting structure to keep it as compact as possible. This structure rests on the main tube of the frame. I drilled a hole straight through the tube so I could secure it with an M6 bolt. I also have a piece of 2020 acting as a clamp against the bottom of the tube held in place with two screws that sit at the base of the main battery housing. The circuit boards mount to the front and fit just behind the motors. I covered the boards with some Kapton tape to keep them clean and added a shield over the top to keep any larger debris from hitting the boards. The last piece is the main box that covers everything and houses the main power switch for the ESCs. So all this is ready to test, but before we can install the drive belt, we need to do a little motor work. These Turnigy motors are great, but they come with a round shaft. There's going to be a lot of force on these pulleys and the round shaft just isn't going to cut it. So I dremeled a flat spot onto each of the shafts for the grub screw to grab onto. I also added a little bit of Loctite blue to the threads before inserting them into the pulley. This should hold it nice and secure. You'll also notice some idlers coming out of the motor mounts. Since our drive pulley is so small and our wheel pulley is so large, I made these two idlers to keep a good six tooth grip on the drive pulley. Everything is installed and ready to go. The ESCs come with this handy four speed remote control, which pairs up and gives me forward and reverse control. All right, so first test here, we do nice easy on the throttle. And brake. Oh, that brake is pretty good. All right, let's shift it in reverse. All right, this is working pretty well. Oh. <laughs> All right, guess the brake isn't that good. I'm gonna put a little weight on it here. I have some 45 pound dumbbells. Oof. That didn't sound very good. Uh, there was definitely a little snap there and it kind of jerked to the side. Okay, something definitely went wrong. Something snapped. Um, there was definitely a crack sound and then it moved. Now when I try to go forward with it, it kind of, the whole drivetrain lifts up. 
which it's not supposed to do, or goes down, I guess. Oh, that's not good. Uh. Well, there's your problem. Uh, that's that bracket that I printed, that custom corner piece bracket that was supposed to hold this whole area secure has snapped. It's, it's really hard to make these parts big when they have to fit into tight spots and the result is they aren't as strong as they need to be. So at least we found the problem. All right, a little plot twist at the end there, but that's the way it goes sometimes. We know where the problem is. I think I have a few ideas of how we're going to fix it, so I'm going to explore those things and we're going to make a part two where we fix up that drivetrain and hopefully that video will end with me driving around super fast and it'll be fun. Uh, stay tuned for that. Check out some of my other builds in the meantime. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I will see you next time.